Yeah, I like to talk about the book I read. It's called A Man by Keicho Hirano. And this I, I just I talked about it uh, a while ago, a week ago. So uh, I got this book through the knowledge of that uh, the movie that was made from this. I uh, got a uh, you know, nice review at the Venice uh, Film Festival this year. Uh, uh, probably like probably about a month ago or so so that's why my uh, attention went to this book and uh, this Keichiro Hirano uh, when he was uh, uh, 23 years old but still a student at uh, Kyoto University uh, he got uh, Akutagawa Prize uh, prestigious Akutagawa Prize uh, and so uh, wow you know uh, indeed, he uh, was uh, uh, kind of a you know very uh, intellectual type of uh, writer. Uh, if you read this, you can tell that the detail that he he talks about about uh, anything of Japanese culture, Japanese history, or everything. It's very very nice. And uh, this particular story is about I think I was a detective story. Uh, it's about uh, uh, identity of this man who accidentally died and so wife uh, discovered this particular person's name wasn't uh, uh, the name that he had. So that's when that uh, uh, this particular protagonist, a lawyer, who, uh, who dealt with this uh, uh, divorce of this particular woman uh, maybe 10 years before and uh, so he was contacted by this woman and so he got involved in this particular case and so he uh, uh, he is a lawyer and uh, uh, tried to investigate what happened to this man and uh, by through this he found lots and lots of stuff about this man and kind of attracted to this man uh, pretty much the same age of, uh, as uh, this particular lawyer and uh, so you know he had a very similar uh, characteristic uh, and so forth so that's one of the reasons he was attracted but through this uh, this particular book goes uh, not the tangent but I think uh, they, they talked about many many things that Japanese uh, facing now, you know, it's like uh, um, the earthquake uh, incidents uh, and also the Zainichi, which is the, uh, which means like uh, staying in Japan. That means that uh, uh, Zainichi means uh, the Korean descent, uh, like a second, uh, third generation, fourth generation they are still be called uh, Zainichi and uh, more or less like uh, um, no discriminated I, I think in Japan so he he talks about that and also the incidents of uh, uh, the kidnapping the Japanese people from uh, uh, coast of the Japan and uh, North Korean uh, used to uh, kidnap uh, uh, person from Japan and uh, use it as a, a information source like a spying source from Japan and uh, that became a big big problem about uh, you know 20 or 30 years ago in the news and uh, so uh, I then talked about that and also uh, talked about uh, uh, this particular uh, condition where you have to uh, swap your identity with other people. There's a lot of people uh, trying to get away from their own uh, identity because of their difficulty, because of they have uh, his, uh, past uh, history, incident or whatever. So they kind of abolish their identity to take the other people's identity. And this particular issue, I. I never knew about that 
and uh, this is the first time I knew about this type of thing existing and I'm, I'm sure this is existing because that's what uh, he he writes about and uh, but for me um, grew up in Japan uh, I never noticed that type of thing there was a problem social problem but uh, evidently there are, there's uh, some dealers uh, to do those and uh, uh, some people uh, and are willingly to swap their family registry and uh, this particular thing uh, is I think main theme of this uh, but uh, because of that main theme uh, you know you have to deal with lots of other stuff that uh, this protagonist which is a lawyer who has also um, difficult time and he's married with a, with a kid and a difficult time with keeping up the marriage uh, intact um, and so the issues there and uh, this particular woman who lost uh, he, uh, her husband also uh, struggle uh, with the, uh, the, her past uh, which is kind of a uh, you know many incidents uh, driven uh, uh, kind of a sad past there so it's in there uh, so there's a lot of issues talked about and in uh, the very beginning I thought wow you know, what is the main theme and I'm wondering what the uh, main directions that they are going but I think it's mainly this about uh, finding out the identity of this particular person and uh, through that I think everybody kind of learn uh, that uh, their own uh, uh, misfortunes, their own uh, difficulty, struggle through that and uh, uh, but at the end uh, I think uh, um, they have a, some kind of a resolution to come up to. So uh, it is uh, interesting, very, very, uh, you know, the, because he's a lawyer, uh, lots of law type of uh, things uh, appeared here. And, uh, but uh, overall, it's uh, like a crime st story, like a detective story to find someone's uh, uh, true identity. And, uh, um, you know, this kind of reminds me of the. Uh, uh, Matsumoto Seicho, Seicho Matsumoto. Uh, he is a, a, a oh, maybe when I was there uh, 50 or 60 years ago, uh, was a big, big writer, uh, uh, mainly like a you know, Suri Shosetsu, which is a detective stories uh, type of uh, 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 story that uh, he finds the. Uh, 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 interest in mean, uh, general Japanese interest in there to find somebody's true identity somebody's misfortune uh, somebody's uh, why they got the crime uh, they committed crime and all so forth and uh, so that reminds me a little bit about that uh, so this particular book although uh, written uh, you know recently uh, I think uh, uh, pretty much a Japanese tradition of storytelling. You know, all the other books I, I read in the couple, last couple of years was uh, a Japanese author's a book, uh, was they are dealing with the more contemporary uh, issues, uh, you know, which I couldn't uh, uh, kind of uh, get into that much because it's completely different, like more, uh, I don't know, fantasy type or more uh, uh, today's uh, young culture or something like that. Uh, so, uh, but this is very traditional storytelling and uh, uh, it's very easy to get into. It's about the 300 pages and uh, it's not that long, but it's not that thin. <laughs> uh, so uh, I enjoyed it and I think one of the things that I enjoyed is that uh, Still, I could see uh, through this book a lot of Japanese-ness. You know, I talk about the Japanese-ness in Japanese book because I think uh, Haruki Murakami, for example, there's no Japanese-ness there. Although uh, he, the Haruki Murakami's uh, book is infused with the uh, 
you know, Japanese cities and Tokyo and uh, all these things there. But it's very, um, you know, the sentiment is very, I would say, uh, non-Japanese, a Western type of uh, atmosphere, and which I really like. But this is more traditional uh, Japanese style of uh, sentiment and uh, uh, storytelling, I would say. And uh, that means that, that they talk about uh, uh, a kind of a person's sad past, sad history, and uh, trying to cry uh, about that because of the, uh, you know, tear joker type of uh, uh, thing was more or less like a very, very popular, you know, Showa era or a difficult lifestyle. Uh, as a woman in Japan or difficult lifestyle, men uh, in general in Japan uh, was talk about, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, all the other traditional, not the traditional, like a, the books, the, the fiction and so forth. So always a tinge of sadness and uh, uh, struggles and so forth uh, in there. I think that kind of a books uh, was probably popular, more popular uh, all through the entire modern uh, Japanese history, I think. Uh, so uh, this one is also, yeah, uh, it's about that. And uh, uh, But uh, it's a uh, deal with you know, all these current issues, uh, just like I said, uh, you know, the, you are trying to uh, get rid of your identity which is tremendously a strong motivation for someone to do it. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, I think uh, it's, uh, overall it's a good book. So after reading this, I, I like to read uh, his, you know, more his book, and uh, I looked for it, but uh, this is only one, and the first one translated to English, and so there's no English translated book. And uh, um, his uh, first book, especially, uh, I think, The Eclipse, uh, 1993, Octagon Prize uh, book. I really like to read it, but uh, there's no English translation. So I have to get the Japanese book, but uh, that's kind of impossible in the U.S. to get it. So, yeah, I don't know if this is going to be the first and uh, maybe the last one by him, but uh, definitely I'm interested in uh, his uh, this movie, uh, this movie um, has a, a, my favorite actor, uh, Tsumabuki, uh, actor's name. He he was playing this lawyer, and uh, so kind of interested to see this particular movie.